Take three. <laughs> okay. Um, so today the unit is on uh, the energy of life and cellular restoration photosynthesis. And I hate being videotaped, but oh well. All right, so uh, up here I have several pieces of fruit. I have a banana, an orange, a grapple, which is a hybrid cross between a grape and an apple, and an avocado. The avocado is a vegetable. So now, um, actually, these are all fruits, but we don't have time to discuss discuss that. Anything that bears a seed, and there is a seed in here, a pit, that makes it a fruit. Um, <laughs> We'll take my botany class, we'll go over that. People confuse fruits and vegetables all the time, but this, even though it doesn't taste sweet like a grapple, it's still a fruit uh, in botany. So tomato is a... Tomato is a fruit as well. Okay. Cantaloupe is a fruit. Now if I eat celery, and I'm eating the stalk of a celery, what am I eating? Vegetable. I'm eating a vegetable. I'm not eating a fruit, I'm eating the stem or the stalk. Okay, so these all contain sugar energy, carbohydrates, and uh, now you know all the answers to these questions. So, Eddie, where was the original source of energy for sun. this sugar? Say that again. Say that again. Sun. 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 All right. Yeah. And what kind of reaction is occurring on the sun, Joe? A fission. Fusion reaction? A Nuclear reaction? reaction. <laughs> that's, that's the next question. <laughs> yes, hold on. You're going to get it. Nuclear. It's a nuclear reaction. And... That energy, um, that solar energy that comes from that, is used by plants to go through photosynthesis and create sugar. All right, and then we consume that, the banana or the orange and we convert it into another energy source. So we have a bunch of energy transfers here. What uh, type of energy do we co convert these carbohydrates into? ATP. ATP. You guys are super smart. You all know the answers to my question. Yeah, we don't know the next one, though. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. All right, that is the energy currency of the body. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, do a little science demo, a gummy bear sacrifice, and we're going to recreate the sun in this classroom. Okay, so I'm going to take... Uh, a little oxidizer here, sodium chlorate, and by the way, do not do this at home. Um, and I'm going to uh, warm it up briefly, and then I'm going to take a gummy bear, a gummy bear, and I'm going to take the energy that's within this and extract it and convert it back into solar energy or light energy. Okay, um, so. There's a couple things I got to do first. So I've got to. Uh, They're making weird sounds. Mm -hmm. Else, you're kind of interrupting in the video. You know, we're on set. This is. Yeah. I don't care. That full. Come on, man. I get in the game. I'm not gonna out. care. Now I'm gonna have to edit that out. Thanks. Okay. Um. So, what wow. I have to do is I have to warm the uh, <laughs> sodium chlorate gently. Now this. This is an oxidizer. You can't do this at home. You can't buy this stuff. And uh, it's not sodium chloride. That would be what? Oh, sodium oh, chloride. Salt. salt. This is sodium chlorate. NaCl4, which would be this. Uh, okay, so it's a strong oxidizer. When I warm it up and liquefy, it's in a solid form now, so we're gonna, we're gonna have a phase change. It's in a solid state. I'm gonna turn it into a liquid. I'm heating it slowly because this test tube is not heat resistant. If I heat it too quickly, the, the glass will crack and break. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, well, let me ask you a couple questions before I go further. What, what's the uh, sugar energy in this little gummy bear right here? What is in there? Glucose. Or probably fructose, high fructose corn syrup. So there's a lot of corn grown here in Bangor, so we're taking some energy from the corn in Bangor and we're, we're adding some gelatin and some other compounds like carrageenan and we're, we're, we're creating this little sugary, uh, delicious morsel, a little gummy bear that everybody loves. And we're, we're turning it into a little energy packet. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to extract that energy out of it in a really fast fashion. Um, and uh, 
when I consume this or you consume sugar like this, our bodies have enzymes and cellular respiration to slowly take the energy out of this. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how much energy is in this. Um, and that energy is going to be released in light and heat. And um, this is why they call it the gummy bear sacrifice. This is a demo uh, to show you how the energy from photosynthesis can come out in a little gummy bear uh, by using some sodium chlorate. And um, we'll see how this goes. Now we just got to be patient and wait for that to liquefy. It's getting close. It's getting close. Now, I should have my lab coat on and my lab safety glasses on for this. Um, does anybody in here know how to turn on the fume hood? The fume hood is You know it. No, I don't know. <laughs> There's a switch down. Uh, Uriel, go turn, turn on the fume hood. It's like it's all labeled and everything. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> the big one that says on. What? Okay, so we have about gone liquid here, and um, I can turn, nope, down low by your left hand, look down, it's your right That's hand. That's the flashlight. There you go. All right, now let's do the job. You should, you should turn the TV off. Okay, I got what are those noises? Ritual. Yeah. <laughs> Ritual noises? For the gummy bear sacrifice. All right, you guys ready? Yes, ready. Okay, uh, any of the lights? Everybody gotta do it. Everybody gotta do it. Do the uh, uh Yeah. yeah. Alright, gummy bears going in. Sacrifice noises before with that. Um, plastic on the, the clamp. All right, so get What kind of energy release did we have? What what were the forms of energy that were released as we sacrificed that? Heat, light, light. That's about it. Heat and light, right? All right. So that was one little gummy bear. I don't even know how many calories are in a gummy bear, but I bet there's probably 34, 40, 30. And um, that sodium chlorate oxidized that gummy bear and created uh, heat and light energy and extracted all the energy out of that sugar, and they broke, they broke the bonds between the carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. All right, so that's the gummy bear sacrifice. You can stop it.